Hi there, everyone. I hope you're all well. We are here today to talk about the most mythical ride in the world of metal. I am, of course, talking about the Megabell ride from Zildjian to celebrate the reintroduction of the Z Custom series. This ride has been, and still is, one of the most widely used and sought after by metal drummers. Moreover, it has been an integral part of Gojira drummer Mario Duplantier style and sound aesthetics since the very beginning. The Zildjian Megabell ride was developed for drummers who need sheer power and volume. It delivers excellent precision on every single stick stroke. In addition, its oversized bell is easily accessible during fast drum patterns and its powerful sound can be heard through any wall of guitar sound. For a brief history and chronology, the first Megabell ride was introduced in the Z series in 1986 and was available until 1993. The Z Megabell ride has an overall diameter of 21 inch and an 8 inch bell. It had a brilliant finish but was not laved. It was hammered in the shape of a five-pointed star. This was one of the first times that the hammering process was computer-controlled, giving the Z-series symbols their unique sound and look. This allowed the pattern, spacing and power of the hammering to be consistent and repeated with a degree of precision never achieved before. Next came the original Z Custom series, released in 1994 and discontinued in 2009. The original Z Custom Megabell ride retains all the features of the first of its name, such as the dimensions, the computer-controlled hammering, and its five-pointed star shape. But this time it was laved and overall slimmer. In 2001, the series was redesigned and updated with new hammering and a new logo. The Z Custom Megabell ride from 2001 to 2009 featured run hammering in a concave pattern, like a spiral. The Z3 series followed on from the Z Custom series from 2009 to 2013. The Z3 Megabell ride is the ride I bought in 2013 and have been using exclusively for over 10 years now. The Z3 series is the third iteration of the Megabell rides. It was presented with the following three words in mind. Power, projection, and playability. The hammering is modified, still in the shape of a circle, but arranged differently. When the Z3 range was discontinued, some symbols were added to the A range, including the Ultra Hammer Chinas, and of course, the Megabell Ride. The A Megabell Ride looks very similar to the Z3, almost the same hammering with a smaller impact size, but noticeably the same quantity as well as the same finish. So it's likely that their sound is the closest in this comparison. Then came Zildjian's latest announcement in April 2024, the return of the Z Custom range. Reintroduced 30 years after its initial introduction and 15 years after it was removed from the catalog. The current version, the third generation Z Custom Megabell ride and sixth of all Megabell rides models, retains the original star-shaped hammering with a brilliant finish. The design has been revised to improve musicality, feel and durability. Now that the historical digression is over, I am delighted to be able to bring you a real comparison of the widest range of Megabell rides I have been able to get my hands on. So here we have four of the six models that have been released. Let's start with the oldest Megabell ride I have available. This is a second edition of the Z Custom. It weighs exactly 4,170 grams and features a round and circular hammering. The laser engraving bears the code JG, indicating that this symbol was produced in 2007. I would like to thank Andre, drummer of the band Dolmen, for lending me his ride for this comparison. I leave all the links in the description if you're curious about their music. Thanks to him, this video makes perfect sense. Let's listen to it on its own by playing its various zones.
And now, let's see what it sounds like playing behind the drums. Let's move on to the second Megabell. This is my Z3, which I've been using for over 10 years now. It weighs exactly 4,005 grams. The laser engraving shows the code AB, meaning that this symbol was produced in 2012. As with the previous one, let's listen to it first on its own and then in the context of a drum kit. Let's go for the third ride in this comparison. This is the A model, with the hammering very similar to the one found on the Z3. It weighs exactly 4,043 grams. The laser engraving features the code 400 in Turkish numerals in honor of Zildjian's 400th anniversary, so this symbol was produced in 2023. Let's find out what the differences are or whether it sounds the same as a Z3.
Let's finish off with the latest addition. The new Zikustom with the famous star-shaped hammering. It weighs exactly 3,907 grams. The laser engraving shows the code BD to indicate that this symbol was produced in 2024. Let's find out together how this reissue sounds like. So here is the presentation and sound demonstration of these four Megabell rides. Do not hesitate to tell me what you think of each one. Do you hear many differences between the two Z Custom? Do you have a favorite between the Z3 and the A? And more importantly, which one do you prefer? I will leave you with a comparison of these four symbols side by side to compare each tone in more detail. Thank you all for watching this video and do not hesitate to follow me on my various social networks to stay informed of all the latest news. Cheers.